What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about the Aura Color Green and what the Aura Color Green means. It's generalized things that we see and then we'll break down the individual shades of green as well. Now, per usual, if you end up enjoying this video, hit that subscribe button, turn the bell icon on so you don't miss when I post new YouTube videos. The next one upcoming will be the Aura Color Yellow. Now, definitely check out my YouTube channel if you're interested in the other colors that I have posted so far. I think we're halfway through this series right now. Also, hit that like button so I know for sure that you enjoy this content. Now, lastly here, I did design an online course specifically to teach you how to physically see auras. I'm working on building another course after this on teaching you how to channel your spirit guides, among many other things. So if you're interested in finding out when that course opens back up or future courses are opening or starting, definitely make sure that you subscribe definitely make sure that you subscribe to my email list. It is linked down in the description section below. Now, lastly, and this is it. Uh, I do read auras professionally for a living. I also do tarot and some other cool stuff. I also paint auras. So if you're interested in either seeing what your aura looks like or what your aura colors are, definitely check out that description section. So same with all the other colors, make sure that you watch all the way until the end where I'll be talking about relationships and career for people with green auras as well. Also, BT dubs, guys, as this posts and it launches on Thursday, it is my 30th birthday. 3-3, three, three, turning 30. Very stoked about that. The next exciting one will be when I turn 33 on 3-3, three, because three, then I'll have four threes, but this one's more exciting to me because I have three threes. Anyway, let's get into the video. When we see green in the aura field, this correlates directly to the heart chakra, which is one of the larger energy centers in the energy center system. Now with the heart chakra, typically this one connects all the way out to the edges of our aura field. And how this works is your heart is sitting there, it's pumping blood regularly. It is an energy machine and those wavelengths go all the way out to the edges of the aura field and people with green are highly intuitive um, and it's not like purple where purple is it's knowing without knowing how they know and kind of getting these like downloads or like images of things uh, with the heart chakra the intuition is more like feeling what other people are feeling feeling energy around them they are highly empathic highly empathetic these people usually do much better around animals and plants and nature than around people and the reason for this is because people we shift our energy very quickly very rapidly and sometimes it's an unconscious form of communication with other people around us and so a lot of people it's kind of like the equivalent of if you had uh, if you were in a swimming pool and it was just like you were in the middle of the pool and you were just like surrounded by a bunch of people that are sitting there like splashing and like laughing and really like super intense people who have a green aura are like sketch i don't want any part of that like no thank you um now it depends on which shade and i will break that down a little bit more in the shades um but for people with green auras, you know, being like in nature, around plants and animals, they tend to have more of a linear, calmer energy to be around. And so it's more rejuvenating. It's a little bit less information that they're taking in as well um, because they are, again, kind of reaching all the way out to the ends of their aura field. They're sensing and feeling what everybody else is sensing and feeling around them. Um, and it's it's a lot. So certain aura colors in like that are in the green spectrum definitely do not do not like to go to like concerts or like really like packed bars or restaurants. Um, but I'll break that down more as we get into the shades. Green aura individuals also tend to have this natural healing energy around them. Um, if they have a significant amount of green in their aura field, then they may have a tendency of having strangers come up to them and tell them like their life stories. That's really common for people who have green auras, um, where people are naturally very drawn and attracted to them. 
Um, and depending on the shade, children can be very, very drawn as well to certain shades of green. Let's hop into the different shades. Light green aura. Now when we say light green, we're talking kind of pastel. If you are watching the video, you will see that I put little uh, markers up with the actual color that I am talking about so that you guys have an idea of, you know, what, what truly color I'm saying when I'm talking about light green. Because as we know, if you've ever been to a Home Depot and looked at all those colors, half the time the way that they're labeled makes not very does not does not make very much sense <laughs> usually when we have lighter kind of pastel tones in the aura field it can indicate some level of feeling kind of light like out of body sometimes feeling a little bit um, not grounded not fully present so with light green there's a little bit usually of this feeling of feeling kind of washed away feeling a little floaty, a little bit um, like you're not fully in body, you're not fully comfortable in your reality around you. Now, since this correlates to the heart chakra, usually indicates that you're feeling a little bit pushed out um, from your reality around the space of feeling heart-centered. Now, it's not to say that you aren't heart-centered, but you may have people around you that feel like they aren't heart centered and that you are kind of dealing with some feeling of conflict or contrast in your day-to-day -day life. With the light green aura, the pastel green, it's very important that you make a point of kind of pushing your needs out there and really looking for that to be taken care of or reciprocated or making your own needs for your own self a priority. Um, usually there's a feeling of feeling kind of washed away and like you don't want to take up very much space. So let's move on now to acid green. When we have acid green, it's a mixture between the solar plexus chakra, which is right here and split at your ribs, right below that here, and your heart chakra right here. Now this chakra is more of the doing, it's kind of the ego, it's a little bit more of how we present ourselves in our physical reality um, and action oriented. And then we have the heart center here. So a lot of people who have acid green tend to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Activists, they tend to really push for the things that they want to see in society. Now, they do sometimes have a tendency to think that things around them are really unfair, that other people are not properly in their heart space. Um, they can have kind of a rock and roll vibe about them as well because they are action oriented about what they're passionate about with their heart chakra. And so they can be very like intense and kind of wild. Um, sometimes I see people with um, a need for exercise or like runners who have acid green, but I've noticed more and more so that it tends to fall underneath more of like the activists, people who are very passionate about um, different uh, different topics, whether that's like human rights or whether that's um, or like women women's rights, um, adopting animals, things along those lines, if that makes sense. You know, it's centered around the heart, but then there's this kind of like, ah, about it. Now, occasionally with acid green, here's kind of a weird one, but with acid green, there can be acid reflux problems occasionally because um, if their heart chakra is not in alignment with the good that is flowing around them and the wellness that is naturally happening on this planet, um, and they're getting too like action oriented and upset about things not being exactly how they want them to be in their version of reality, then they can sometimes end up getting acid reflux, um, which you know, of course, do your own research, but if you do have any issues with acid reflux, I highly suggest that you check out um, apple cider vinegar. It's um, said to be very helpful for that, but of course, when it comes to anything internally that you're ingesting, definitely do your own research. Bright green aura. So when we're talking about bright green, I mean like bright, like ah, green. Again, we'll have the color a little 
sticker that'll pop up here that you can look at. So with bright green individuals, they usually have a spark for life. They're very vibrant, happy, joyful, playful. Um, they're still very empathic, like all the other colors of green. However, they are the most engaged of the green and they feel the most settled um, in a way in their own way, I should say. So with these people, they're more of like the extroverted version of all of the greens. Now, if you have a green aura, typically you lend yourself towards the introverted side. Um, bright green individuals are a little bit more capable of going out to parties and being able to hold their energy field. And, you know, they really only need maybe one to two days a month of like real introverted rest and relaxation. Whereas most of the other greens, especially forest green, most of the other greens do need a little bit more time to kind of recoup and to um, get their energy up enough to get back out there. Now, people with bright green auras, children tend to be incredibly attracted to people who have bright green auras. Animals as well usually really like these people. And a lot of it is because they're very heart-centered and they're very warm and very nurturing naturally to be around. Because the heart chakra goes all the way out to the ends of the aura field too, it's not only that you're picking up on other people's energy out there, but they are also picking up on the magnitude of your energy very easily because you're able to send it all the way out there. And so people pick up on it pretty quickly. Um, now the heart chakra it is said to be kind of like a magnet in a way um, because of how far out that energy spreads. So people with bright green tend to manifest things really easily as well. Emerald aura. Okay, people with emerald are towards the rare side of the aura color spectrum. They're not insanely rare, but they are rare. Um, now, when we have emerald green, we tend to develop this one over multiple lifetimes of being in our heart chakra, or it's a color that usually is developed a little bit later on in life. Um, it's very rare that I see somebody who's young who has emerald green in their aura field. Um, and when we talk about emerald, I also kind of do mean to some degree the stone itself. So I highly suggest looking at the metaphysical properties of emerald as well. The example that I always love to give when it comes to emerald green is my great grandmother. And she just radiated and oozed emerald green vibes all the time. So she would invite over everybody in the family. So my mother came from a family of five kids. I've got a background of being Catholic. So, you know, kids, right? <laughs> so five kids. Um, and then they all had significant others as well. And then they all had at least two children. And so she, my grandmother was in this little townhouse that was just a two bedroom. It wasn't wasn't a big place by any means. She would have all of us over. That's like 20 people at minimum, right? All of us over. She's 90, 90 BT dubs. And she would make sure she hugged you when you came in the door. She would make sure she hugged you when you left. It was just, as I get older, I can really appreciate it. And she would always have food for you and tea. And she would always be like, do you need anything? Do you need any food? Do you need any tea? And we'd be like trying to like force feed you almost <laughs> be like eat more. Um, she was absolutely adorable. So that's the example that I always give for emerald green. These people are very heart centered, especially, especially when it comes to family. Um, and usually they have this energetic connection to their family lineage as well. And uh, they just radiate this warmth about them that's amazing. Forest green aura. All right. So with forest green, these people, the archetype that I always think of for forest green is the witch out in the forest, kind of far away from society, picking herbs, has a garden. And when I talk about witches, I never mean it in a negative context. I know that there, to some degree, can occasionally be negative context towards witches. Um, I mean it more like 
the witch that works with plants and extracts that and um, uses that for healing properties and things kind of along those lines. Um, so we think of, you know, kind of this introverted witchy vibe out in the woods, slightly reclusive, um, loving time with the plants and animals and out in nature. Um, forest green is very much so that way. So if this is a color that you have in your aura field, it's really, really, really important that you take the time to make a point to allow yourself to regenerate. Um, now, whether you do that at the end of every single day, you give yourself an hour minimum of like you time, or if you set aside one day a week where you give yourself you time, it's very important for people with this color to have their own time in order to kind of relax and to feel soothed enough to calm down their headspace and to really feel like they are capable of understanding themselves. Forest green is more sensitive, I would say, to some degree, um, more sensitive of other people's energy around them than a lot of the other greens. The other greens are capable of picking up on that, but then they are also able to like push their energy out. Whereas forest green is, it's more like a blank canvas, I guess, where they're able to really pick it up. But if they don't occasionally go over and paint over that canvas white or whatever back to their energetic self, paint that canvas back to their own energy, then it kind of just gets built up on and sort of chaotic. Hopefully that analogy was good. <laughs> so with that, again, forest green can be slightly introverted. So it's really important that you make a point if that is your color to set a set schedule for yourself of you time and to also know what activities help you regenerate the most. Teal Aura. Now I'm gonna go over this one just a little bit here in this video to cover anything that I maybe missed in the Blue Aura video, but the Blue Aura video will be linked in the description section below and you can click that and go watch Teal. So when we see Teal, it correlates of course to the heart chakra and the throat chakra and so usually indicates somebody who uh, communicates from the heart but also somebody who's very wild and free and very playful. But you do have the heart chakra energy where you are very aware of the energy that's going on around you and near you and very capable of picking up on that. Now, again, definitely check out that link in the description section to find out more about the teal aura. Black, green aura. So whenever we get black in the aura field, especially with a little bit of a color tone attached to it, um, it typically it means that there is some kind of blockage or um, upset that's happening that um, specifically correlates to that chakra. So when we have black, um, again, brown is also that way. If we have you know muddied tones attached to one of the chakra colors, um, specifically for this one though, black in the heart chakra area can indicate that you're feeling really cut off from people around you, you're feeling really sad. Um, this one, especially out of a lot of the black um, in different chakras, this one really indicates that you're going through a severe depression currently. Um, black in general usually indicates some level of depression or trauma, um, but I don't want that to scare you by any means. And usually when I see black in the aura field, it is it's minor. Um, I know there's a lot of people that really think like, ah, oh, my whole aura is black. And it's funny because those people are usually the ones that are very, um, very sweet and actually have like really nice energy. Um, and they've just been told by other people who probably do have black in their aura fields that they have black in their aura field. But anyway, 
I digress. Um, if you do have black and, and it's mixed with green, um, I highly suggest journaling and kind of getting your emotions up and out um, and focusing on creating a routine around what really could make you happy in this lifetime. Um, what I did for a little while, and I do want to kind of create a video specifically on this topic because I used to have very severe depression. I used to have really bad anxiety. Um, but anyway, something I did for a while that really helped me is I got a jar and I had a notepad next to it and I would write down one thing every single day that really made me super happy. And this, especially for the heart chakra would be very helpful. So I highly suggest doing that practice if that sounds fun to you, um, because it can, it can be really, really nice. You know, you start realizing that you go from focusing on like all the things that aren't going well in your day, all the things that are upsetting to you. Um, and you shift your focus into like, what's the most fun thing that I can highlight today? Even if you have kind of like a boring day going on, I can guarantee that when you shift your focus and you start looking for these fun things, you start really realizing that life is pretty fun and then you start reaching for more fun things. And before you know it, it will pull you out of the, the slump that you're in. I think I did it only for three months. My plan was to do it for a whole entire year. Um, and I only did it for three months because by the end of those three months, I was feeling really good, really, really good. So it's a fun practice. I would highly suggest that one. And if you are going through depression, of course, I always suggest that, you know, you find somebody to talk to, a therapist or something along those lines, um, you know, and remember to communicate with people around you because usually, usually people love you more than you think that they do. So green aura people in relationships. Individuals with this aura have to be careful that they don't carry the whole relationship. Now they do have a tendency because they are so heart centered to overlook a lot of things with their partner and to be really giving, really nurturing and really loving. So they have to, to some degree quantify how things are going in the relationship. Now, I know a lot of people don't like that concept. Um, I personally have found it very helpful though. Once uh, <laughs> I was in a really bad relationship for a short period of time, um, by short, I mean two years, so it wasn't short. Um, <laughs> but what I started to do near the end of it is I started to quantify how I was feeling every single day based on my interactions with the person I was with. Um, and that really created a lot of clarity for me. So the reason I mentioned that and I bring that up is people who have green auras can sometimes be super empathic and then they can occasionally choose to pick partners that um, are either really difficult or um, kind of emotionally detrimental or uncaring um, and not always, not always. Um, it just depends on your own personal habits to some degree as well. However, the green aura individuals do really well when they do find a partner who's also very loving and it becomes this really vibrant, amazing relationship that's really loving and really fun and really warm and other people who um, are friends with these these people you know that are in a relationship um, and it's not always like two green auras making that happen sometimes it's like a green aura and a blue one um, I do compatibility readings on relationships so if you're interested in that definitely check out the description but green aura people can pretty much make any relationship work. However, that's not to say that they should try to make every single relationship work. Um, and again, kind of quantifying that can be helpful for people who have green auras. However, they themselves thrive typically in relationships. Now I will say briefly wrapping up the relationship bit here for green auras. It is good for people who have green auras to have things to pour their love into that isn't just a partner or isn't just uh, family members or people around them. Um, it's very good if they have plants, if they have pets, 
um, or if they have like hobbies that feel really heart-centered to them, um, or if they can find um, just another place to put that energy into that isn't just other people around them, um, because it'll it'll be helpful for them to feel like that energy isn't just going into one person, for example, and is going somewhere that um, can also flourish. And um, plants, especially for people with green, that's helpful because if the plant is flourishing and it starts blooming, um, it's reciprocated really well with the heart chakra. Um, anyway, okay. On to, on to career. Career energy for the green aura. All right. Green or individuals are fantastic in a lot of different careers because they are more than happy to throw their heart into it. However, they do very well with energy healing, uh, therapy, uh, being therapists. Um, that sounded weird. Being a therapist. Ther therapists. <laughs> anyway, um, and <laughs> being uh, teachers, especially Bright Green does really well teaching children. Um, usually they have certain hobbies or talents that they really enjoy. Now, if they can make money off of their hobbies or talents, then that is, that is premium for people who have green auras uh, because ultimately they like to do whatever really brings them joy. And if they can just follow that joy and make money doing that, then that is, of of course, I mean, most people feel that way, but especially with green auras, that ends up usually working the best for them. And that usually is where they manifest more financial abundance for themselves in their lifetime as well. Now, they do have an ability to kind of psychically speak with plants and animals as well. And so sometimes I see um, psychics that work with passed away animals specifically that do have the heart chakra color, the aura, <laughs> the aura color green. Some quick last minute careers for the aura color green. Gardener, forest ranger, travel guide, uh, a healer, energy healer, a veterinarian, uh, somebody who works on a ranch with animals. You, you guys get the vibe. So. Again, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn the bell icon on so you don't miss when I do post new videos. Next week will be the aura color yellow. That is it from me. I am officially 30. All right, <laughs> love you guys. Bye.